Right guys, so I've got actually a mail call. Um, little unboxing video for you. Now, those of you who have been watching the channel for a little while know that last year or earlier this year I bought some chestnuts. Actually it was last year. Bought some chestnuts, put them in a bucket because I wanted a chestnut tree for me and ended up with 42 of them. I figured <laughs> that this year we try something else as well as we're going to put in some more chestnuts okay so I've got a load of chestnuts these are all from Potash Farm okay so we've got more chestnuts for growing and I also got half a kilo of Kentish cob nuts now these are very similar to hazelnuts, but they're not hazelnuts, they're cob nuts. Um, they are in the hazelnut family, but they are much bigger and a lot more, you know, long. Um, whereas hazelnuts are quite stunty. Um, so I'm going to give these a go at growing those as well. And if they work, look at all them trees. <laughs> Now, cob nuts are actually a rare breed now. Um, Potash Farm actually grows. It's one of the very few nutteries around still that grows Kentish cob nuts. So if I can get them growing up here, that would be a really, really cool thing. Um, now, all the chestnut trees that I grew this year, they're all fine. But they need, they won't be going anywhere until the spring when they get the new foliage on them. I don't want them going out before they've had their first winter and I know that they will survive a winter. Okay, so any trees that anyone wants to get off me, they will be in their second year. Um, so that, you know, they're not going to go and die. And the same will happen with these, okay? I will show you the process of actually growing these as well um, as these ones, again, because, you know, why not? I've actually done these. I've, I've shown you how I do these, but I think if I do them both together, it'll be a good thing. Um, yeah, so because the chestnuts, they're both deciduous trees, so they both lose their leaves, so I can't tell at the moment who's sick, who's dead, and who's dying and who's fine and just going to sleep for the winter so that's what we're going to do is that we're going to grow these and in the spring when they get their new foliage that is when I will be able to say to you this is how many chestnut trees I have to sell um, and send the ones out to the people who I have said I will gift them to <coughs> but yeah like I said it won't be until March um, yeah, so there we go. We've got another half dozen, half kilo of chestnuts to put in, and another we've got half half kilo of of cob nuts as well, Kentish cobs. So looking forward to that. Okay, so there we go, guys. The new nuttery begins. I said I I, I know I said I was going to do walnuts this year, but actually I really want to get a kick on with these. I really do. So, oof. Okay. Right, well, I will see you guys later on. Have a really, really good one. Love you guys heaps. Bye-bye.